In this video, we'll see how to do problem 3 from experience 11. A commonly cited standard for one-way length duration of school bus rides for elementary school children is 30 minutes. A local government office in a rural area conducts a study to determine if elementary schoolers in their district have a longer average one-way commute time. If they determine that the average commute time of students in their district is significantly higher than the commonly cited standard, they will invest in increasing the number of school buses to help shorten commute time. What would a type 2 error mean in this context? Let us recall that a type 2 error A type 2 error means that the alternative hypothesis is true, and yet we do not reject the null hypothesis. Remember that if we reject the null hypothesis, we would support the alternative, which is what you'd want when it was true. So what are the hypotheses in this problem? Looking at the mean, the mean hypothesis test for the mean, so we can put the symbol mu here. So the accepted commute time is 30 minutes. Now this local government office wants to see if it is greater than 30 minutes. If the alternative hypothesis were true, if the mean time was greater than 30 minutes, then they would invest some funding to get more school buses, and then hopefully reduce that time closer to 30 minutes. So a type 2 error would mean that, in fact, this was the case. That the average commute time for this local area was greater than 30 minutes. And yet, through their hypothesis test, they failed to reject the null hypothesis. So they would not have significant evidence to actually come to this conclusion. When you look through the choices, we can go through them one by one. Notice that the first one says the local government decides the average commute time is 30 minutes. That's equivalent to supporting the null hypothesis, which never actually happens. We either reject it or fail to reject it. In the second choice, the local government decides the data provides convincing evidence that the average commute time is higher than 30 minutes, when the true average time is in fact 30 minutes. This is incorrect as the decision is one of rejecting the null, which doesn't happen with the type 2 error, and the truth is that the null hypothesis is true, which also doesn't happen with the type 2 error. The third choice, the local government decides that the data do not provide convincing evidence of an average commute time higher than 30 minutes, when the true average time is in fact higher than 30 minutes. Notice that the last statement is equivalent to the alternative being true, and the first statement in fact says that they fail to reject the null. So this would be the correct choice. The only difference with the last choice is that they have use the word different instead of higher than, which doesn't go along with the alternative. And the truth is the null hypothesis instead of the alternative. So again, incorrect. So answer three is the correct answer. 